Part three, we're going to look at cloud-based storage. When we use NHS technology local, we're actually using the hard drive within the actual computer itself. When we're in NHS technology NAS, we're using a network attached storage in order to communicate with all the computers to one central location via our local internet connection. But we can also use NHS technology cloud to move things to the wider internet as a whole and back up our things on Google's servers. In order to get to NHS Technology Cloud, we need to sign in to our Google Drive and I will share with you a link for NHS Technology Cloud. It's going to be a new shared folder. Inside of that is the years in which we've been, I've been here as a teacher. Some of them are archived, others we're currently in. Some of the th them I'm using for future years. If we go into our year, you're going to see something that looks very similar to NHS Technology NAS and NHS Technology Local because what we're trying to do is mirror all of these so they look pretty much the same throughout. Again, we have our class names and I apologize if you're not seeing your class name, this might be an older video. I'm going to go to Documentary Theory and Production. Again, same name. I'm going to go in. You're going to see things a little different than our projects in our student gallery. Sometimes they're going to put resources in here for you. Sometimes we're going to have collaborative Google Slides projects in which I will send you each one of the links for some of those processes. But if I go into projects, you're going to see that here are some things that we're working on together. Let me go back one and actually go to readings, I believe. And so I might have uh, something on chapters and I'm going to click on one of these. It's going to have the chapter notes. And go back here one more time. And in projects, expository documentary, here are some things that we are working on in the cloud. Let's just go back to another class, maybe a photography class. And again, some of these are going to look similar to your projects. Year, month, day, project. Now in here, this was a collaborative document that we're using, but the main thing that I want you to get out of this is that I may ask you to save something to the cloud or we're working on a slideshow in the cloud in which case you'll see a folder and you'll then see the Google Slides project or the uh, Google document that we're using. Again this is communicating with Google's servers so you can actually access this on a wider scale, you can actually access this all at home. You can't access NHS Technology NAS at home. You can't access NHS Technology Local at home. You can access it from here. Now when we move things over, it's going to take a, quite a while because it's a slower connection between the internet, the global internet, and our computer. The fastest one is going to be NHS Technology Local. And again, as a recap, that's why we edit everything locally. We move our final products over to NAS, and then we collaborate communicate on a communicative <laughs> level via our cloud-based storage. So that's the three storage types that we use. Again, the file protocol is the same throughout everything. It's the year, the month, the day, the project, and then depending on what it is, if it's the projects folder, it's going to be your name. If we're doing our final products, it's going to be your name, 
parentheses the project. So I just want you to have a fundamental understanding of all what these things are. We're going to go over them in class as well. This is just, this should just be a refresher for you. Anytime you get lost, you can watch this video or 